Uh, we're gonna do a, another simple flower here. Uh, this time we're gonna use this bluish color and um, so let's start with the petals make sure you are loaded with a lot of water and just do this remember <clears throat> the stroke be as consistent as possible and you want to end up over here because you want the dark flowers to stay um, by the exterior instead of going inside and um, now you can do a little bit of bleeding so add pigment at the tip of the brush and do this fast before the water dries up okay and then do another one and um, if you have a clean brush do this to let the color travels a little bit better okay and then rem remember to try to push the color and stay by the exterior side of the petal all right add to more water okay this one's like this way darker color stays outside and then add more water because this thing is getting dried up soon so remember you have to do it relatively fast otherwise the water will dry up and then you cannot do the wetting wet anymore um, and remember the color stays at the top through here and do maybe two rounds. Have another clean brush to let it bleed out a little bit better. Okay, and then you could do this if you want it to travel a little bit better. Okay, now I'm just going to do a little bit patterns over here. Okay. Um, A lot of water, more water for this one, okay, and then remember when you lift up your brush, let it stay outside so the dark color would stay by the, uh, by the side of the petal and then Another wetting wet. See, this one did not go well because the water dries up. I would just add more water. All right. I think for watercolor, if you want to fix anything, just do really fast. Otherwise, the water dries up, then, then we couldn't do that anymore. Okay. And then just go this way. All right, let's do this side. Again, add, I think for the petal when you start to do it, um, because the value is relatively low, so you want to add like probably 80 to 90 percent water and have some sort of pattern as you do your brush, as you do your stroke, brush stroke stays outside. When you lift up, the brush lift from outside, so the darker color will stay outside, excuse me. Now do wet and wet before the water dries up. Uh, this one dries up again, so add more water to fix that and let it travel. And uh, bleeding a little bit. When it did not go well over here, I'm just gonna do a quick fix. All right, so now here dries up, I could do a little bit of pattern like this. Okay, and here it dries up, I could do a little bit of pattern like this. All right. Okay, we're at the last one. 
remember because the darker color is at outside you want to make sure the tip stays outside uh, tips pointing outside but when you lift it you want to lift up by the um, by the exterior side of the petal wet in wet do it quickly okay so here it dries up I could add water to fix that quickly quickly the tip of drawing the simple flower is go quick all right so clean brush or the old brush to let it bleed a little bit <clears throat> and then when here dries up you could add a little bit of pattern uh here is still wet so we have to wait um for the inside let's see for the inside of the flower Mm, we can use red and yellow so I'm gonna do red first um, you want to use a new brush not to mix, mess up with the old color okay so I'm gonna use red and black to make a really dark dark color okay so it's a dark red dark red dark red dark red okay and um, now I'm gonna wait for that to dry up before I go to the next step um, I can do my stem really quickly uh, now this is yellow. I need to put in. So for the stem, it, again, it's brown, a little bit brown, a little bit of green. And then make sure you add about 50% of water. So like this way. For the sake of um, having uh, like a really interesting variation, make sure you're Pigment stays at the top. Okay. Just one stroke, okay? Don't do too much, otherwise, it just mess up. Add some more water for this one. Okay. Um, I want to add more water to lighten up, to decrease the value. So maybe a little bit of okay. Now um, I think here has dried up pretty much all of them, and we could do the yellow part, the inside of the flower. Um, so. I'm gonna add red and yellow to make it kind of orangish. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry. And then I want to add more yellow. And so this time, make sure you have a either super thin brush, a tiny little brush, or you just use the very tip off your brush see it's bleeds out it bleeds out really nicely and more yellow you can use i rec i do recommend you to use a thinner brush for this part Uh, now we're just gonna wait for it to dry um, and then for the second layer of the petal what you could do is 
uh, add water, I think maybe 50 to 60 percent of water, and then just do a really nice pattern on your petal. Okay, so that's a simple uh, blue flower.